Welcome back everyone. Today is Monday and we have Gospel from Luke chapter 12 verses 13 through 15, 22 through 31. Someone in the crowd said to him, Teacher, tell my brother to share the inheritance with me. He replied to him, Friend, who appointed me as your judge? Then he said to the crowd, Take care to, uh, take care to guard against all greed. For though one may be rich, one's life does not consist of possessions. He said to his disciples, Therefore I tell you, do not worry about your life and what you will eat, or about your body and what you will wear. For life is more than food and the body more than clothing. Notice the birds. They do not sow or reap. They have neither storehouse nor barn, yet God feeds, feeds them. How much more important are you than birds? Can any of you by worrying add a moment to your lifespan? If even the smallest things are beyond your control, why are you anxious about the rest? Notice how the flowers grow. They do not toil or spin. But I tell you, not even Solomon in all his splendor was dressed like one of them. If God so clothes the grass in the field that grows today and is thrown into the oven tomorrow, will he not much more provide for you, or you of little faith? As for you, do not seek what you are to eat or what you are to drink, and do not worry any more. All the nations of the world seek for these things, and your Father knows that you need them. Instead, seek his kingdom, and these other things will be given you besides. Today's message offers us profound wisdom on the nature of earthly possessions and the kingdom of God. In today's Gospel, we find the story of a man who seeks to inherit his brother's wealth and Jesus responds to him. A man in the crowd comes to Jesus, asking him to judge in a family a dispute over an inheritance. At first glance, this request might seem reasonable, as inheritance matters uh, are important in our lives. However, Jesus Christ's response is a call to us all, a call to shift, to shift our focus from uh, material to the spiritual. He says, take care to guard against all greed, for though one may be rich, one's life does not consist uh, of possessions. In these few words, Jesus reminds us that our worth and purpose in life cannot be measured by the abundance of our possessions. Earthly, earthly uh, wealth, no matter how west, will not bring true uh, fulfillment or lasting happiness. It is a reminder that the desire for more the greed that consumes our hearts can lead us away from the true treasures of the kingdom of God. Jesus continues his teaching, urging us to, cons uh, to consider 
the beauty of God's creation and the providence of the Father. He directs our attention to the birds of, of the earth and the, and the flowers of the field, both, both of which are created uh, for by the Creator. How much more will our Heavenly Father care for you, His beloved children? In this we find a lesson in trust and surrender. Jesus encourages us to set aside our um, anxieties and place our faith in God, who knows our needs and provides for us. This passage invites us to, to shift uh, our focus from worrying about tomorrow's, tomorrow's provisions to seek first the kingdom of God. In doing so, we store up treasures in heaven, where moth and decay do not corrupt, and thieves do not break in and steal. Dear friends, as we reflect upon, upon today's gospel, today's message, let us take its lessons to our heart. We are called to examine our priorities, to remind that our lives, uh, to remember that our, that our lives are more than accumulation of wealth and to trust in God's providence. In seeking the kingdom of God, we discover the true treasures that bring lasting peace and joy. It is in acts of love, compassion, and uh, selflessness that we store up heavenly treasures. So, as we go forth from this reflection, let us challenge ourselves to be uh, content with what we have, to trust in God's loving care, and to seek the kingdom above, above all else. In doing so, we will discover that the true wealth of our life is not measured in gold and silver, but in the love we share and the grace we receive. I wish to everyone a wonderful day. May God bless you.